guys, my name is Rahim. Hello everyone. And this is another system structure software tutorial. Uh, this is uh, a series tutorial. In a previous one, we have conducted the cyclic analysis on our RC frame. So, in, in this tutorial, we want to consider the steel frame. So then you can uh, make the same tutorial and do a comparison with the reinforcement concrete to see how the response is. So this is the size of the uh, structure, which is two stories, and each story height is three meters and the base four meters. So we will apply this cyclic loading. So the cyclic loading is putting in one text file. Later we will use, it. and I have. Uh, created this here and you can create your own because you should use ATC uh, 24 and they giving guidelines how to apply this one and then you can create your own cyclic load so after that we will get the result and we will print the exist risk curve so this is not the still frame exist risk curve this is the uh, concrete shear wall so in the next coming tutorial we will consider the concrete shear wall uh, to model and analyze under cyclic loading so we jump to the um, software and uh, from wizard we can select the unit is millimeter you can fix in the beginning it comes to the tool and it is if I go back to the tool here you can select unit so I use millimeters, newtons, and stress acceleration like this. Okay. So then I can come to wizard and call no. And here I just give the number of base to one and the number of stories two and select two D. This is four meters uh, base and two meters three meters uh, height. So I change to the steel structure and from loading type I will use static the static time history analysis and the applied load will be automatic given to the program so then we will later change it so I'm ok and we have created these two this structure but the section is uh, difference let me show you the section you just we want to go to the section and see the section is called section is like this which is not our expected section so the section i want is the web id is 300 millimeters and the tough line is 200 millimeters so i want to uh, add one new element so one no, new section i'm going to call add steel profile using ipe ipe 430 this one I'm gonna, okay now we selected the same materials the same materials and we go to the element so element section and we come to here and the section is defined here which already giving section one so the section is changing to IP section and you can see the IP is added now it is complete uh, both side is similar previous uh, if I go back again uh, do uh, undo and you can see it is uh, top side is full and bottom side is this so back chain and to IP section okay so both element is using fiber section elements if you come to uh, here and you can see the fiber section is defined to fiber this is it using fiber which is non-linear behavior and the plastic inch length is giving to this percentage of the so approximately in this area you can visualize and you can see the fiber element is here so no okay now uh, we have typically taking a model and we want to apply the time history here which is previous one so I'm gonna load here you can see it's not our expectation so we're going to load our defined load it is in the selecting the text file and the text file was cyclic uh, again it's going to be the stop and text file and it's called cyclic loading 
so this is the cyclic chlorine I give it name and the first line is here 0 which is 1 and the last one is 88 so the time step is like before I gave 0 0.9 so later we will increase the number of steps so that we will get a smooth curve so we give it 1 acceleration column is 1 Okay, and you can see the curve which we already draw here. <coughs> so okay, and I wanted to delete the previous one, so remove the previous one, and now here. So I have to give this uh, call time history stage, so the end of the stage is. If I go to view, and the end of the stage is this one. So seventy nine point two, seventy point nine two. Let me go back here giving 79.2 it's called how much step you want and the program will divide it this one to this one and it give you the steps so I'm gonna give 2400 steps which we will have more points and then we will get a very smooth curve okay and it giving 0 0.033 step times if you take this to times this and you will get this one so now we're gonna apply the load so this is already giving some permanent load in the beams on the beams and we want to change this this is the load the control node is that's here so i want to giving the multi uh, player to two because the maximum is two uh, uh, 100 so we want to make it double to 200 millimeter pushing to forward and back so that curve is here and okay so we have finished so we are not going to change any materials just using the giving material is this one let me use another material uh monigoto materials so this is a material with some degradation as well so you can see the some degradation also some fracture buckling as well so i'm gonna okay uh in case if i want to add some uh, brassing system as well we can add but that's not our uh in this tutorial so next time we will considering the backlink some uh, brassing system to see to observe the backlink of the element as well so no okay so now we're gonna go to processor and submit the job yes and you just save it the model now the program is running and it's converting and you can see some uh, performance criteria later here uh, now some uh, beam column reach to the yield Now the analysis is completed we can go to the post processing and uh, firstly you will see the uh, deformation here and you can come to the time steps and you can see going to forward back forward back and you can observe some plastic inch and also in this area you can see the formation as we wish and we're going to come to the global response and uh, we can come to the easy statistics but let me use a structural displacement so that structural displacement is the control node displacement uh, we can select that node which is the top node in these uh, two studies this is the first this area and this is the other area and we call the uh, you can see displacement in the same time you can uh, draw and the uh, total support frame uh, forces so that's already taking so Two node which is giving a sum of two and you can see here so we come is this is which is including this both and we're gonna uh, uh, it's automatically detecting the top node and also the total base shear so we're going to draw the graph and you can see the graph is like this so what we're gonna do is we can it's in a direction is in a in a, in a opposite we're gonna take the point 
select all copy selection and we want to paste it here paste so we need to paste this one and you can see the curve is changed because we will take this one which is a minus one is times minus one and this is divided because it's newton and divided by 1000 to changing the two kilonewtons so we will get this curve for the uh, still frame so usually the still frame is like this so there is no pinching for the still frame in case if you uh, want to observe the pinching so you should change the materials for this for this issue so i'm going to do one thing that i'm going to back go to forward to see here so this is not completed i'm going to go going to complete this one and going to back to here and again and I can <clears throat> so this is the complete complete is this is this curve of that frame so what we're gonna do is we can uh, change this to uh, make it a little beautiful so that's not difficult you can uh, do by wish so I'm gonna bring it down to the bottom and this one is also going to be in the lower part and we're gonna go to add some uh, axis as well so I'm gonna call it boundaries and giving color so you can fix this one as you wish and changing the font so like this you can give the name so this is the displacement which you think uh, millimeter and this is the uh, shear force which is using kilonewton and giving the title is the SS curve <coughs> So that, like this, you can uh, create your own curve. So this is the end of tutorial. If you have any question, please put in the comment and I will find time to answer you. See you next time.